or get in your little crumpet cunt. Hi guys, Lee Mac here. So I found this on the internet. It's just come in the post today. Crumpet.co.uk. Crumpet's a healthy, toasty snack in minutes. Really, really good. Um, as you can see. So I seen it on the internet and I thought that's really good, you know, for like a, a high protein snack quickly. And like I say, you can put anything you want in these. So let's have a little browse and see how you use it and see if we've got what we need. So you use thins with it, okay? Now I'm sure we got some thins. I'm sure we got some. Uh, there they are there. Warburton thins. So these are healthy anyway, you know, they're not, there's not much calories in them at, at all. I think there's like about 100 calories. So the idea is, you get a tin, and I'm sure you just put your, what's this here? Is that the top or the bottom? Or oh, doesn't it matter? I think that's the bottom. So I assume you put it there, like so, you have to get it like square on it. Okay, just give it a little tiny push in. And then you put your filling on there, whatever it is you want, you know. Um, so put it on the filling and then you squash it down. Obviously once you've got your filling on, you put that on top. And then it makes, it like, it's hard to explain. So what I'll do is I'll do it, but it pushes it together. It pushes the sides together. And then you can either fry it to give it a bit of a crisp, or you can toast it. And then you chop it in half and enjoy it. So I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to show you what I've made. Okay, so I'm just having a look to see what I can put in this thing. I mean, you can literally put anything in it, you know. You can put corned beef and brown sauce. Um, you can put coleslaw in it. Obviously, you can cook some bacon. That's, that's bacon right there. Um, you can put some bacon in there. You can put beans in there, of course. Um, you can butter it or not butter it. You know, you can put some tomatoes in there obviously chicken you can cook it obviously cook your chicken first but you can put your um, ham in there and peas put yeah a warm ham and peas put that seems like an interesting one doesn't it but i don't really like that kind of ham i only like the bernard matthews one you know the nice one which doesn't have any like kind of gritty bits in it um this i found this my girlfriend bought that uh, egg and salad cream so i'm gonna give that a whirl i think okay just for the first one and then uh i've got a, a cheese slice here which would go perfectly in it you know the size of it would probably fit in it perfect yeah so i'm gonna pop the cheese slice on put a bit of egg salad cream on there i'm gonna obviously put it all in my fitness pal and then what i'll do is i'll uh I'll share with you the macros. Okay, so I've got my trusty scales here. I'm going to turn them on. If they'll go on. There we go. Um, we want it on grams. I'm going to pop that on there. Put it to zero. And then we can weigh our egg. Okay, so I'm going to give that a little tiny mix there. And then we're going to put it on. So, first of all, the thin, I'll put it in my fitness pal. That is 100 calories and zero protein. I'm a bit disappointed in that. Zero protein. I thought that there would have had some protein in it. I mean, you know, like a bagel has quite a bit of protein in it. So, a bit of a shame that the thin, especially, well, these Warburton thins... They just don't have any protein in them, which is a shame. I'm going to have to try and find some things that do have protein in them. 
because uh, you know we want protein, don't we? So that's twenty five grams there. I think we want a bit more on there, don't we? A little bit more. Maybe just a touch more. Because egg does have protein in it, you know, quite a bit. So that should do it. And what we've got there, we've got 55 grams. Okay, so I'm going to pop that into my fitness pal now. And then we'll know exactly the macros for this meal. So I've just done the, the macros there for it, um, put them all in my fitness pal, and we've got 237 calories for this, and it's 9.3 grams of protein in total. So yeah, the, the protein level could be a little bit better for a breakfast, in my opinion, but you know, it's not too bad, and it's not too many calories, and hopefully this will taste amazing. You know, that's the main thing, isn't it? So let's pop the top on it and let's crink, sorry, let's crump it for the very first time. There we go, we stick that on there. Been looking forward to this coming in the post actually, me and my girlfriend. So we're gonna just press it, I suppose, down hard. I think you lose a little bit of the bread, you know. I think you might. Oh, actually, you might not. You might not. I don't know how hard you meant to go. I don't think it goes any further than that. I don't think you need to press it really hard. No, you don't need to press it that hard, actually. It's quite a, it's quite a sturdy piece of kit, actually. It's really, really tough, that, you know. Um, so I was pressing down really, really hard there, but I didn't need to. Obviously, you can see you do lose a little bit of the bread there. But because I've put that in my fitness pal, I'm gonna I'm gonna scram that. Right. So now I suppose what you do, just tip it out and uh, pop that in the toaster. But you can you can obviously um, put it on the stove in the pan, and we'll see how that finishes up. Don't you know, pop it up, you got to pop it up. Don't you know, pop it up, you got to pop Okay, so it's just popped up for the first time. Um, we're going to have to do a little test here and just see. <clears throat> we'll see um, if it's stayed together, first and foremost. But then I don't know whether I need to put it down for a little bit more. Um, it's a bit tricky to get out of this, actually, isn't it? Bit tricky to get out. Oh, I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna come out on me. This. Jeez. Right. Maybe I needed two hands for this. Maybe not. Right. I don't know. Feels crispy enough. Feels crispy enough, guys. Out of the one, the one uh, pop, the one push down. Oh, look at that. So. This is going to be gooey because it's egg mayonnaise kind of thing. Oh, add the crunch, add the crunch on that. And uh, I suppose the big test is, is that warm? It wasn't in there for very long, if I'm honest. But we'll see, we'll see. Mm. It's like slightly warm, but unbelievable actually. Mm. Top marks for the um, the crumpet. Love it. Top marks. 